Welcome back. This is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results. I wanted to make a quick video for you today before I left the office. Today we're going to talk about Saccharomyces boulardii. What is it? It's a non-pathogenic yeast microbe that protects against antibiotics, internal temperature of our body, as well as the acidic environment. What that means is because it's a yeast, it is resistant to antibiotics. So if people come in and they're taking a lot of antibiotics for either MRSA infections or they had um, a Lyme disease where it's chronic and they had prolonged antibiotic therapy, Saccharomyces boulardii might be a great probiotic to inoculate the gut. Also, it's resistant to the temperature in our body, so it can get down lower into our small and large intestine. And the other portion of it is that <clears throat> it's resistant to the acidic environment of the stomach, so it can get through to where it needs to get. Now, it was first discovered in lychee and mangosteen fruit, and it, the uses have been, in the clinical practice, is for diarrhea, gastrointestinal disorders. Sometimes we'll use it for parasitic infections to help inoculate the gut. Studies, they've done a bunch of studies on diarrhea, antibiotic-associated diarrhea, uh, C. diff inf inf uh, infections, H. pylori infections, and irritable bowel disorders, right? Or irritable bowel disease. So they've used it for a lot of different chronic conditions, okay? So <clears throat> when we look at it, we have to say, is it safe to take? Yes, it's pretty much safe for most patients is pretty safe, right? For the people who are immunocompromised or they have a transplant or an organ transplant or pancreatitis, there have been rare occasions where they have fistulas or abdominal hemorrhage. Um, but again, those are pretty rare. So Saccharomyces is not a vitamin where it gets absorbed into our bloodstream and <clears throat> be, it's utilized in our system. It's not absorbed. Basically, when you take it, it builds up in concentration in the GI tract and inoculates it, right? It's competing against other um, <clears throat> microbes or bacteria in our gut. The half-life is about six hours. <clears throat> so when we inoculate the gut, we, in our practice, like to use it for maybe four to six weeks or even up to eight weeks to help really inoculate the gut so it can compete against other microbes. Um, it's a great way to help patients who have chronic issues with uh, antibiotic usage, uh, inflammatory disease at times, and they have uh, uncontrolled diarrhea, right? So it's a great way to inoculate that gut and improve that function, all right? <clears throat> My name is Dr. Jin Sung, where clinical excellence meets excellent results, and we'll see you guys next week on the healthy side. Have an awesome day.